Have you ever wondered how knives are made? Not the crappy ones that you buy at Walmart that are obviously made in a factory. No, no, no. The custom knives, the ones that have a lot of passion put into it and are made unique for each buyer. This weekend, I'm sitting down with my friend Brian and he's gonna make me a very special knife, one unique for me. Gonna take this piece of metal and make something a lot like this. Let's actually start learning about making the knife. What is the first step in the process of making a knife? First step, draw the knife that you wanna make. Right here is the design that I'm gonna make for Kyle. It's a chopper knife, so it'll be good for barbecue. This design I have come up with before. Um, so I retrofitted it to fit Kyle's hand in the handle portion. Um, what about the materials that you, like, how, how do you decide on the materials for the knives? So, we've got a couple options. So this is O1 tool steel right here. So as you can see, it kind of rusts a little on the easier side. Um, it's not necessarily a bad knife, but it'll definitely take more maintenance to keep it nice. Then kind of the mid-tier is 52100. So 52100 is a very popular chef knife steel. So it's it's really good, it holds a really nice edge, gets nice and sharp and keeps that sharpness for a long time. Still, it'll rust if you mistreat it, but it, it's kind of a good, good all round option. And then my favorite. So this is Damascus. So as you can see in there, it has all of those different, you know, swirls and twirls and stuff in there. So that's, that is definitely the prettiest option it's definitely the most expensive option, but I think that it's worth it. All right, go ahead and put this in your hand, see how it feels. I like that a lot better. Look at that personalized service. I can take that back. He's customizing it for me right on the spot. Oh yeah, gotta make it good. <laughs> Alright, so tonight what we did is we picked our design, we cut it to our shape, we drilled our, we drilled the holes, we put in the jimping. So what's next is we're going to heat this up to 1500 degrees and then we're going to quench it in oil. That's going to make the steel super, super hard. Too hard. So then after that, once we have it quenched, we're going to put it in the oven at 400 for two and a half hours to bring it down to the exact um, hardness that we want. It's another day, um, we got some sleep. What you didn't see is that we basically took the knife and threw it in the oven at 400 for two hours. Yep, it made it a nice, kind of that goldy color. Yeah, it's, it's kind of cool. So what's on the docket for today, Brian? Today, we're gonna get this nice and uh, sanded up, then we're gonna throw in the bevel. So that's gonna take most of the time today. So we're gonna get bring this edge down to a nice point and then after that, we'll be starting to glue up some handles. Good job. 
try to put a center line so we know what we're grinding to right through here and then um, then we'll start putting in our bevels at a specific angle to make that bevel perfect. So then you take this and the point on this will scratch a center line across the edge to give you a, a spot in the center to aim towards. So it's going to be a 2.8. Ooh, that's going to be thin. So I'm going to say 2.5 degrees. You have the lines on the top where it needs to go. You have the lines where the bevel needs to end. And you calculated the angle. So basically you just grind until those lines match up. Pretty much, yeah. and ground out it's to a nice soft satin finish um, so all of our bevels are put in perfectly well perfectly and um, it's kind of ready for you to give it a shot if you want to try grinding on it you want me to grind it oh yeah man oh man put it up flat on this thing and you got to make sure that it's nice and square because if you put that angle on there you're gonna put a bevel on the top of this thing Brian kept talking about the heat and the, the crazy thing is you got to put your thumb right behind where you want to press and I underestimated how much heat it actually was. He, um, you know, equated it to like touching a stove. Is this what you did when you started off? Yeah, for sure. Oh, okay. Well, I don't feel so bad now. He gave me the handle so in case I mess it up, it won't be visible because there's going to be material on there. Yeah. So. No pressure here, really. All right, Brian. How'd I do here? Ben? Very well done, man. Um, this uh, looks a lot better than what I handed you, so. Yeah, you did very good job. Very good job. So we just dipped that knife in fair chloride. It'll bring out that pattern in it, make it look really pretty. So it's gotta sit in there for an hour. Check that out though. Yeah, you can already... Oh dang, look at that. Yeah, it uh it got pretty deep for sure. Oh dang. Yoink. At least that stuff smells better. Oh yeah. 
You can see that made it a lot darker. Oh yeah. What a crazy difference. See how that shit the side A. Side B. Look how much it brings out the shine. Mm -hmm. there is a finished product it's ready for you to take home and love this right here is definitely the prettiest thing that's come out of my shop um, I'm really proud of it it looks it looks nice knives on Instagram if you want one of these knives made or if you just want to follow along with the knife making community and you like what you see follow my Instagram 